Hi, ah, hello everyone. Welcome to a new fresh vlog. I'm calling this fresh because this is the first time I am picking my camera in like three up to five months. The little little vlogs you've been seeing that I've uploaded in the past, they've all been recorded with my phone. That's because I was testing out my phone. See, I have a long story to tell and I decided to tell that story while doing my makeup because I'm going out for a birthday dinner later today. I'm going to run errands. I'm still going to go and get the celebrant a birthday gift. I am going to the Apple store. We are going to do all of that together in this video. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, because it's even going to be interesting in the first place, stay tuned and keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to say is, welcome. Look, I've been test running. I'm using snail, see, all these things. I never used to use them before. It's just attache. Aside from that, the country where I am is really cold. We are cold like nine months in 12 months. And to avoid, you know, dehydrated skin, I have to moisturize my skin properly, properly. Uh, I was testing my new phone, trying to see if I could use it to make my vlogs because I used to complain that this camera is too big. And right now, since I moved here, I incline towards vlogs more. So that's why I'm like, you know what? I'll continue vlogging because I actually enjoy vlogging, putting bits and pieces of my life out there. Yeah. And then I, f I felt like... Oh, I should just get a camera, like a Sony camera. I don't know how I'm using brush to do this. I normally use my hand, but you know what? Anyways, I ended up not buying a camera and I'm stuck with my phone. So, and I chopped the money for camera. And I was thinking I'll get it for like a cheaper deal on black on black I say black on Black Friday, which I didn't. So I'm stuck in my phone and I'm like, you know what? I think I'll get that camera. I will get that camera. I'm not going to dispose this one because I still like this one a lot. I will just keep this as my makeup video camera sort of thing and for pictures, but I'll like get this new one. So yeah, oh, a lot has happened. I'm almost finishing my masters. You know, they're about to chase me out of this country. I don't know what to go. What I'm going to do in my life. So I don't really have a skincare routine. This is just for hydration. Outside is dry. Your face will peel. Your face will scatter inside this winter. So this is sunscreen. Please, do you wear your sunscreen in winter? <laughs> Don't tell me it's winter, there's no sun. You know wear sunscreen. <laughs> I pity you. You will cry blood. <laughs> Anyways, my eye watch gave up its life. Not its life, but its ghost. Look at my eye watch. Hmm? I really don't understand what happened here. So, obviously, it removed. This place removed from my eye watch. It's still working. See, in perfect condition. Everything is fine. And then here, this upper part here broke. So look at it here. This place broke. And this place just removed. And I'm a I took I wore this thing to the beach one day. And that was when the problem started. So I'm taking this to the Apple store today. And with my second phone, I haven't thrown this away. I love this phone so much. Do I love this phone or because of the information that is there? I think it's because of the information there. I feel so attached to it. I want to be able to transfer this information at once to a device. And I don't want that device to be my main device, which is like my main phone. This one. I don't want... I'm on Clubhouse. I try to reduce the volume to the lowest. I... This is my main phone. And I don't want to turn this phone to like a... You know warehouse and then i have this one again so yes i have three phones this one was given to me by my family member Sha. he bought a new phone and gave this to me 
And I'm like, you know what? I was planning to use this as my second phone, transfer all the details here. But this one also has a little bit of issue. And I'm like, you know what? I will just go to the Apple store and tender all this and see what I can get for scrap value of everything that is here. So that's my plan today. And you people will follow me. If you have any better, perhaps, you know, everything doesn't work out. So I'm mixing my Mac illuminating uh what's this a strobe cream with my with my huda beauty foundation this is what i'm going to use as my foundation today this is more and the foundation is less i always deceive myself saying i want the light coverage i want the light coverage oh my if you see the makeup i'll eventually put on my face <laughs> is the fact that i have no control that's it for me and i like the fact that i don't have any control so yeah Mix together, mix together, mix together. Mix together, mix together, mix together. Ooh. I've been having so much fun on Vinted. Bro. Bro. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> There's an app called Vinted. I don't think it will be available in Nigeria. I don't know. It's basically in UK though. So it's an app where you sell things you don't use anymore or things you used to love and then you probably don't have space for it again and you need to do away with it guess what you don't need to give it to charity if you don't want to i'm not saying it's a bad thing to give charity or you know uh, uh what they call it, your luggage or your baggage or your anything sure your property if you don't want to you don't have to sell it on vintage but the thing is, you have to say it's at second-hand value. So, I cannot buy something. Uh, for instance, if I got this for £15, I can't go on the app and sell this for £15. Because why? Everybody will see it for £15 in boot store. So, if I'm going to sell this, I probably have to sell this for like £10 or 7 or 8 And you can buy again. Like, you can, you know, tell the seller to like reduce the price. And... If they like you, they will. They will. Mm. They'll reduce the price. This beauty sponge is not dirty. I used it yesterday, so don't tell me any rubbish nonsense. So I'm going to be showing you guys in this video the products I got. I basically use this app to get almost all, not every almost all of my luxury makeup items i'm going to show you the bag it's here i'll pick that up in a second and show you guys i just need to quickly do this foundation and concentrate and i have to pause this video so oh. anyways what else has been happening i i i got like the bomb bomb cream mm -hmm. you know what let me finish this foundation before i tell you all my story on top of this foundation routine so i think i'll tell you that on my concealer or eyeshadow routine so i'll use that one to get the bag also okay i have my bag here <sighs> yeah so i got i don't know if i should tell you guys the price and the recommended retail price that's like the rrp my orders so this is and um, this is actually free and um, I'm doing a free promo for Vinted. If you have seen this, are you working Vinted HQ? I got this for five pounds. Beauty Bakery setting powder, and it's new. I don't, I don't want to open it because it's going to take time. But it's new. I don't know how much it is, like the retail price. I really don't know how much that is. The person actually had it there for seven pounds, and guess what? I had to bargain. And I got it for five pounds. But the thing is just that once you um want to get something, you obviously have to pay for delivery. And by that, you might end up paying like three pounds extra or like two pounds, three pounds, or even four pounds extra. And sometimes it just defeats the purpose because you're like, you know what? <laughs> How much am I actually saving? If it's not really worth it, it's kind of discouraging when you have to pay like delivery, you pay buyer protection fee and all that. So just make sure you do your math properly. So check 
properly before you buy something. This should be about 25, 20 pounds. And I got this for five pounds. The next item, anyways, I brought this one out. This one is actually new. It's the Beauty by AD um, setting powder. I got this one from Nigeria. Somebody sent it to me from Nigeria. So I got this one new. The next item I have here is MAC Mineralized Powder. This is the deepest dark. I got the deepest dark for 14 pounds. How much? No. I got this for 10 pounds. The RRP is like 24 pounds or 25. This is the deepest dark MAC powder. I got that for 10 pounds. And NC55, how much did I buy NC55? Mark NC55. I got this for, for six pounds. I feel like a thief on this app because I'm like, bruh. I got each of these for 10 pounds. This is NW58 and NW47, two Mac foundations. I got these two for 10 pounds each. It's meant to be like 25, almost 30 pounds at the store. And why am I just buying Mac, Mac, Mac? Anyways, I got other things. Setting spray, I got this for uh, 14 pounds. And I just got one like two months ago for 24 pounds at the Mac store. <sighs> this is another mineralized skin finish, medium plus. This is a very light one. I got this one for 12 pounds. Um, I got Fenty, Fenty Beauty setting powder. I got this one for £10. The reason why it was this cheap is because it's cashew. It's a really dark one. I think this is about £30, £35. Brand new. It, was, it came brand new also at the store. It came brand new, but it's about £30, £35. I got that for £10. And I got this Fenty Beauty concealer. This one, how much did I get this one? I got this for 10 pounds. Yeah, so that's it. This is from Nigeria, the Miss, um, Miss Metics. Mm. What was Miss Metics Primer, the Aqua Grip Primer. So it's really a good bargain if you think about it. And what I cannot wrap my mind or my head around is the fact that you people why are you selling your things cheap what exactly is the problem you as well know you can return these things if you don't like them i'm still trying to really you know understand why people sell their things except it's clothes that you've you know worn and get tired of it and you want to buy something else and you don't want your space to be um, cluttered you don't want to be a hoarder except that is fine but <sighs> new makeup items new not that i've used it once and i'm selling the remaining half is that one i understand but i also understand that since there's like a time limit where you can return items and some is like 12 days some 14 days once it's past that time Nobody collects it from me again. Some is like 21 days. So some people just forget it with them and, you know, eventually just sell it off vintage. That is understandable. But the problem now is sometimes I can't control myself. Because why? Why? Hmm? Why would I have... Why would I want to buy three bum bum cream? I already have one that I'm using. If you don't know the bum bum cream, it's this... This is bomb bomb cream. This one here. This is bomb bomb cream. And for your information, this has nothing to do with bomb bomb. It doesn't help your bomb bomb grow. Don't be deceived. Don't go and buy the bomb bomb cream. I think this is why my bomb bomb is big. Okay. I got one. Like I've got that one normally from Harvey Nichols or Nicole Savvy, whichever one it is. Fine. It was Black Friday and I got one more. And it was cheaper. When it was Black Friday, it was about 34, I think 34 pounds. And we are having like a secret Santa thing. And I just, you know, I had to put something on my wish list. I just put this one there thinking, you know, who, who's going to buy it? I still put other things there, but that was later, later. 
waiting for me to get back home yesterday and I found this waiting for me. I was like, wait, somebody actually got this thing for me. Nah, bro. And I only buy like the bum bum cream and the body spray or the body mist. But this one has like the full set. It has like the shower gel and the body scrub. I'm like, you know what? It's going to be a good Christmas. <laughs> Anyways, I went on Vinted and I was looking for bum bum creams to buy. Why? Because all the ones I have are 250ml or 240ml and I'm there looking for like a 75ml or like a 25ml that I can carry around in my bag. Probably when I, you know, travel or I go to school or something, I'll just be using that one. Hmm? Why? Why am I obsessing over things I shouldn't obsess over? Somebody help me answer that. Anyways, what am I doing? I'm putting blush on my forehead. Oh, God. Anyways, I hope this makeup turns out really good. Because I can't remember the last time I did makeup and um, spoke at the same time. Except I'm on um, like a phone call. But it's looking nice already. Turning out fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So most of the makeup items I got, I'm going to be using them on people's faces, not mine. You guys know how much I love <laughs> putting makeup on people's faces. ETC, ETC. So that's what I'll be using that one for. So the moment I'm like, you know what, my setting spray is finishing, like this one. What do I do? Why would I go to a Mac store when I have vintage? I went on vintage. I've got one already. I think I got it for how much? I think 12 pounds. New one with Bali. <laughs> when it comes out, I'll snap it. I'll put it on Instagram. I hope I'm done because I'm actually very, very absent minded with this makeup I'm doing. I got it for 12 pounds. It will arrive. What's it? Just that like it comes in like it takes time to arrive. So if you need something, Urgently, I don't think you should be buying from vintage. Just go to the store and buy your thing, JJ. It takes a while to come, like four or five days, sometimes one week or more. I don't think I'm going to list the products I'm using, but I use RCM setting powder for my under eye. I'm going to continue this makeup or this video. When I'm ready to wear my lipstick or do my hair, I need to hurry now because time has gone. Yeah. I'm almost done now. Oh, you good. I just remember I still have hair to do. Hey, she don't know what it like this. I was talking about bum bum cream. This is the bum bum cream here. And this is the body spray. This is the 240 ml. And this is 240 ml also. And I have, I still have a new one I got for Black Friday. And then I have the 90 ml here. Whew. This is one I carry around because it's small. So I'm looking for a smaller um, body cream to also be carrying around. And then I still got this as my Christmas gift. That's when I come, I, so I come. I came to the consensus that I'm actually being greedy, looking for, you know, a smaller one. Because I have three creams, three body sprays. So, yeah. I'm about to wear my lipstick now. And I wore a red lipstick. Not a red lipstick. Fenty Beauty Uncensored, this red lipstick, last week. I'll put the pictures up here. Oh, over the weekend. It was gorgeous. That's the only word I can say. I was so beautiful. Oh my god. Everybody kept complimenting me. Like, oh my god, where did you go? Who did your makeup? With your rubbish accent. <laughs> I was like, oh, I did it myself. But today I'm wearing a nude lipstick. See what I'm saying about your makeup looking really dry? My makeup is still dry despite the fact that I hydrated. And didn't use like a mattifying primer or no primer at all. Hmm? I'll still bake myself in like setting spray. That's why my setting spray always finish.
Mm. <sighs> I love this makeup. Anyways, I want to do my hair now. I hope I can do it on time. I'm very well. I'm doing ponytail. Oh my comes are up. A center part ponytail. And I want to put stones on my hair. I hope I'm not too late to do that. And I'm wearing this earring. On my ear. It's going to sit like all the way here. I love this makeup. I need to hurry up because we're in winter and it gets dark around four. And it's almost what it's past three now. So it's to get dark soon. Let me quickly get my comb and hair gel to do my hair. I've decided I'm no longer wearing this. It was too much drama, especially now that I have this going on. Oof. My makeup, my hair, my outfit. So I'm wearing this top with the cargo pants. Yeah. I'm a classy. Muji, <coughs> classy. Muji. Yeah. My table is a mess. I'm going to head out now, take pictures, and go and look for the birthday gifts. I'm wearing sneakers. I've never bought out socks. Oh, God. Dressing up is actually work, except the makeup part for me. Let me pack my watch, everything I need to do. So I'm going to the Apple store first. Then I'll go to Zara to buy perfume. And then Lido or... MS to get flowers for the birthday person and yeah I will tidy all of this when I'm back. I just want you guys to look at my makeup once again. Today's fragrance uh, is Givenchy, I can't pronounce the name, a replica flower market. I really don't like this. I just always lay on top of it. My friends are make me buy. Mm. Yeah, this is it. Oh, <sighs> I'm ready now. My jacket is downstairs. I'm going to continue the rest of this video with my phone, leaving this camera here. That's a right. So I'll see you guys outside. All right. Mm. Yeah, this is 
the Apple Store. See how big it is. It's big. This is the Apple Store. Is that the screen or is it the screen for that? Yeah. So I have to quickly run the diagnostic. Yeah, but this one I can just say the battery is bad. Like okay. completely. Does, does it turn on? Yeah, it's fine. Everything works fine, just the battery. It lasts for about one hour okay. before it goes off. But everything okay. is fine. And I've changed the screen once. Okay. But now it's the screen protector on it. Okay. I'm broke. Like, I'm, I'm actually don't have money. <laughs> hey, God. The first iPhone, this one was 55 pounds. And this iPhone 10, thinking it was going to be like 100 quid, it's actually zero pounds. My watch, obviously, zero pounds. I'm going to Zara now. Zara is opposite. And Zara Men is up here. Zara Men is up here. Zara Women is down. So I'm going down the stairs. I'm actually disappointed because I thought I was going to get like 300 pounds and maybe add like 50 and buy a watch. Going to the perfume section. Another reminder that I'm broke. This is 90 feet. I like this one. How much is it? Okay. This is not bad. We <sighs> have the perfumes from here. perfume I've been looking for but guess what there's a sample here but the actual perfume is nowhere to be found the yeah, idea came my god why did you go on this place it's not here I've checked everywhere Yeah, I got the perfume. The one that I wanted to get is like that Baccarat for 540 perfume that everybody's going crazy about. So that's like the dupe and it's never available. It's never available. So the guy was kind enough to like order it for me and said I'll get an email when it's ready so I can just come and pick it up. It's always sold out because I was asking when is the next time it's going to be ready? And he said he doesn't know because as soon as he gets in, it's like people whisper and it gets sold out the second it comes in. So once he's ready, they'll keep one for me and I'll come and pick it up. So I'm going now to where I'm going to get flowers for the celebrant. I've gotten her birthday gift already. So it's just the flowers left. I need to visit O2. They're owing me money. <laughs> See, eh? <laughs> they understand. Everybody is owing me money now. I always remember. So that's where I'm going to now. It's somewhere around here. Oh, this is three. Also, is next. Yeah, so let me go and for my money and see what's going on. I 
I still have some free time. So I came here to Primark to look for a pleated skirt. I found it on Vinted already, but I thought to come to Primark and look for it because paying for delivery and buyer protection is expensive. So I'm here in Primark looking if I will find this cargo pant looks nice and it's a size 20. How much is it? 18 pounds. Yellow yen. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, 18 pounds, but it looks really nice. Anyways, what am I saying? How much did I buy the one I'm wearing? The one I'm wearing also is from it's from Primark. So yeah. Oh god, this looks nice. I'm tempted. And I came here for one thing only. Oh, I'll be back. Let me go for my pleated skirts. Fast staring. You've not seen fine gear designs on her face before. No. Let's look forward. Anyways, this is going up. Yeah, let me check for my pleated skirt. If I don't find it, I will kind of try that cargo pants and weigh my options if I'm buying it or not. Oh, I'm here trying shoes. This is the one that fits me, but I prefer this one. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. I haven't done the zip though, but I, I don't like it, but I don't know how I feel. It's comfortable, Sha. Oh, God. I'm actually confused. And just because I heard it's going to snow and I need boots. I don't really have any boots. I guess I'll take it. It's kind of alright. But I prefer this one though. Hi everyone, today is what December 9th. This, this is like the third day from when I began began the vlog. And remember I told you guys they did not have like the Zara perfume I was going to look for. The guy there was nice enough to like order it for me. And it came in yesterday. I got it yesterday, and this is it. Yeah, is the my address is at the back, so I'll be showing you. I can't open it because I got it for someone and <laughs> I was tempted and I think I got one for myself also. That one is coming next week, Monday. So it's the, I don't know what it's about, but it's the one that smells like um, YSL Libre. Yeah, the Zara dupe. That's the one that is there. I think I got one for myself. I got the one that smells like Baccarat 540, the dupe. And the one that smells like Victorov, the dupe. <laughs> so, I, I've been watching Zara perfume dupes. And I went on this floor. Oh, God. I'm going to be hungry. Anyways, all that will come on Monday. So, I'm going to show you guys in probably the next vlog. Yeah. So, I'm going to end this vlog here and start a new one. That's what I just wanted to say. So if it's your first time here, I can't believe I don't tell you guys to subscribe since money. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and we can have a chat in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer. I'll see you guys in my next video or in my next vlog. I don't know which one it is, but something will happen. All right. Bye. Bye.